So I'm talking again with Tyne Crow about his Maori language learning game that takes place in a virtual game world. Now Tyne, I'd like to ask you this time about the learning technique that underlies some of the activities. I believe you use the silent way. Could you tell us something about that? Yes, the silent way is an applied language teaching method based on constructivist learning theories. This was valuable because I wanted to progress beyond teaching the memorization of vocabulary to teaching sentence structures. Now, I use the spatial position of objects in the game world to reinforce learning about sentences that related to the relative position of objects in space. Fantastic. Um, that's really interesting. There's, there's another thing about your game that's really interesting, is that you've used very uniquely New Zealand content, and I wonder if you could talk a little bit about that as well. Yes, part of what I wanted with the game was to have a game world that was engaging, but also uniquely New Zealand. Other than just engagement, I thought that this was important so our young people see themselves as potential authors of digital content, not just consumers. Oh, that's really cool. Is there anything else that um, you'd like to say about your game that, that you think is really um, unique or unusual about it that, that makes it stand out from other, for example, Maori language learning games that are currently on the market? Yeah, I think one of the more advanced aspects of the game-based learning that I tried was, as I would mentioned before, learning about the relative position of spatial objects. Now, rather than using more abstract objects like coloured boxes, which I had tried in an early prototype, through discussions with a co-supervisor who was a Māori language lecturer, we decided that it would be really cool and engaging to allow the user to be able to ride different animals around the level. Now, this wasn't purely for engagement. This created the opportunity for users to actually control the relative spatial position of objects. And they would have to move these objects to based on an activity that they would read at the top of the screen. Now, this linked in with the silent way because they were seeing a sentence, reading it, and they had to make meaning from it by organising the game objects in the virtual world. Time. Thank you very much.